Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that there are questions that your realtor, licensed real estate or licensed real estate agent are not allowed to answer? We get tons and tons of questions all the time when we're touring homes. And the truth is like, sometimes we just need to get you an answer. So you can be touring a house and you may say, well, how old is the roof or how old are the windows or when was the last time the air conditioning or heater were serviced? Those are questions about the house. We can actually either answer them if we have the answers or get you the answers. But there are questions that we are not allowed to answer. So we can kind of think of it like this. In general, we can answer questions or get you the answers to your questions that have to do with the physical house. But when you ask us questions that have to do with people, we can't answer those questions. Most of the time, we're not allowed. So I was doing some research and I pulled up, here's five. Here's five questions that do come up that technically your real estate agent, me too, uh, are not allowed to answer. So um, just looking at this particular website, what kind of people live in the building or in the neighborhood? So when I get asked that question, I'll say, well, um, human people? <laughs> it's really, you can't really answer that question. Um, I guess they're humans, right? Uh, another question that we get often kind of tied to that. Is this a good place to raise a family? Uh, maybe. So what I'll typically do, uh, I don't want to violate the Federal Fair Housing Act. I will say, well, why don't you decide? Why don't you drive around the neighborhood at different times of the day and form an opinion on whether you think it's right for you? Right. Um, third thing, is this a safe neighborhood? We get that a lot. People always want to know crime. So who do you think can answer that question best about crime? Police, right? So I suggest, why don't you stop in the local police department and have a conversation with some, some of the administrators or even police officers there. They'll tell you what they know. I can't tell you anything about the crime in this neighborhood. Another question, this is actually a really, really big one. We're at the fourth question. How are schools here? So there are times where people are focused on certain towns or neighborhoods specifically for the schools, right? They know what they want. They want to be in a very specific school district. So they have done their research. Oh, there it is, right? So if they've done their research, but then there's other people that might be new to the area that haven't really figured it out and they want to know about the schools. Truth is, someone could be shopping in the same neighborhood where I raised my family and it could be the same school district and I'm still not allowed to talk about the schools. So what you can do though, as an agent, is you can refer them. Why don't you reach out to the Board of Education? Why don't you do, do some online research and look into it and make your own decision? How are the schools is a very big question. Uh, and tied into that, a lot of times people will ask me, well, is this house part of this X school system based on the lines? And even if the listing says that it is, or I'm pretty confident that I know that it is, I will always footnote that and say, look, it might be part of this particular school district, but you should always reach out to the Board of Education, the, the school district itself, do your own due diligence to make sure. Because remember, for some of us, the schools are a very big piece of the decision-making process. And man, would that stink to buy a house and then find out that you're actually not this school, you're that school, and that school isn't the one that you wanted to send your kids to. So definitely do your own research on that too. And then the fifth thing is, can you show me a neighborhood with a large X population? Come on, guys. As licensed agents, we're not allowed to define or even try to 
understand what an X population is for you as a particular client, you have to figure that out. Uh, again, the same kind of thing is I will always suggest, hey, if you're not sure if this is the right neighborhood for you, drive around different times of the day or evening or weekends, get a sense of the neighborhood, get a feel for it. Does this seem like a neighborhood which suits you? So those are five things, guys, that we get asked as real estate agents. There are a lot of other things that we get asked um, that we can answer. But in general, um, if your agent isn't answering some of those questions, there's reasons. There are law laws. We could, we could get fined. We could lose our licenses for answering very human type of questions. Ask us anything you want to know about the house, and we will do our best to get you the answer if we don't already have it. But if you're going to ask us questions that are more human related, we have to be extremely careful on how we answer that. Always appreciate you watching. If you are looking for a real estate agent here in Southern New Jersey, I would love to help you. Either me or a member of my team would love to connect with you. If you're looking for a home or looking to sell anywhere in the United States, please reach out. If you are watching us on YouTube right now, our contact information is below. Peace.